Hello guys, welcome back. This is Modern Man MTG here today, and today we're playing Jeskai Aggro. Yeah, yeah, that's all I really have to say about the deck. You're looking to really just play some prowess creatures and attack your opponent. Let's go ahead and jump into a game. And let's see if this deck still has what it takes to win games. As always, got oh no, never mind. I'll save that for the end of the video. My opponent won the die roll. So there is a lack of Gitaxian probes in this deck now that they were banned. So I'm playing Goblin Guides instead. I think I'm only playing think, three, maybe four. Um, but I would like to, this hand's fine. I'll keep it. But, Opponent plays Urborg and the Blood Soap Champion. That's fine. My opponent wants a race, I'll give him a race. Oh, crack Bloodstain Mire. We want a blue red source and steam vents. Cast me a goblin guide. Attack the opponent. Reveal a godless shrine. Okay, are they playing aristocrats, maybe? I hope. I hope somebody else is out there playing Aristocrats. Um, that would make me feel great. Opponent attacks with the Blood Soap Champion. Level 15. My opponent plays a Scholar here. It's not looking that great for them. We got Pains here. Interesting. Um. Well, we will snag the pains here. Point of to 17. Attack with the Goblin Guide. Put the opponent down to 15. Quest for Renewal. Whenever a creature you control becomes tapped, you put a quest counter on it. As long as there are four more quest counters on it, untap all creatures you control. That card seems pretty good. I'm going to fall to 15. I'll go ahead and pass turn. <clears throat> really would like to draw like a prowess creature. Another land would be good. Put him attack for two. We were... I'm assuming attack since I can't block. Follow 13. I'm going to place Godless Shrine tapped. So another Pains here. It is, sure. Crack Bloodstained Mire. Get Sacred Foundry untapped. Ouch. Go ahead and bolt the Pains here. Draw a land? Mm, that's not a land. Uh, we can play a Serum Vision and look for a land. We got a land. Do we want a fourth land? Probably. None of these cards matter. Well, they do because I don't have to crack the polluted delta. I can get an island. Yeah, I guess I'll take the lightning bolt. Put the polluted delta on the bottom. Play polluted delta. Goblin Guide, Trigger, Reveal Windswept Teeth. Okay, so we're not playing against a budget deck. We're playing against a brew of some kind. Quest for Renewal, huh? Quest for Renewal inspired deck? Is that a thing? I'm going to play an Overgrown Tomb. Tapped or untapped? Tapped, okay. Going to go to combat. Put us down to eight. Cast a copper horn scout, sure. And a Machaeus on one. Sure. This has got to be some kind of combo deck. 
I'm smelling a combo in there. Well, we'll draw the lightning bolt, crack the blue delta, grab a island. Play Mantis Rider. Red, white, blue. Mantis Rider seems pretty good on the board. Uh, attack with all the dudes. They want to block, sure, that's fine. Trigger Goblin Guide. King Makar. Okay, sure. I have no idea what they're doing. Besides playing inspired creatures. When it falls to eight. More with the opponent playing the King Macar. Plays a Skurz Dag. Skurz Dag? High Priest. Sure, that's fine. Don't mind. Please tap out. Please tap out. Thank you. It's probably going to put a counter on the Machaeus. Put a counter on the quest. Attack with the Copper Horn Scout. Triggers. Taps all the dudes. It's counter on everything. Unlock the Copper Horn Scout. Level four. Um. Five, eight, we have exactly enough. That's pretty good. Um, bolt the opponent. Mutagenic Growth Mantis Rider. Attack for five. And that does it. Well, let's go ahead and go to game two. And let's see what we have in the sideboard for... Obzon inspired. So I like paths. Um, rest of the piece seems fine, not great. I think that's about it. Cards I probably don't want. Really Twisted images. And I could probably shave a snap because I'm bringing in a rest of piece. Try like this and see how this goes. So there's actually four Goblin Guides in the deck. I thought there were only three. I'm playing four. Hunter's playing a 69 card deck. That's uh, interesting. Uh, we have no dudes, so we cannot keep this hand. We have no lands, we could not keep this hand. We have draw spells and removal spells, so I'll keep it. That's fine. Don't really want another bolt right now. Opponent has a ley line of vitality. Okay. And a 69 card deck, that seems fine, I guess. Makes sense. Through a flooded strand, so we'll play the flooded strand, crack it for an island. Play serum visions, semen visions, you know, whatever you prefer. That's a stormcaster mage, and another mutagenic growth. I actually want all of those. And past turn. My bonages might be dead soon. That might be a thing. Crypto with rice, sure. Seems pretty good with inspired. Play Spire Bluff Canal, cast the Stormcaster Rage, and Domia. Uh, we can go ahead and, well, they have a bolt. You know, we'll just attack for one here. Opponent falls to 19. Past turn. I 
I'll place another forest. Okay. Sure. sure. We have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten damage. Eleven damage. Unfortunately, it's not enough to kill the opponent. Opponent passes turn. We draw the mutagenic growth that we knew about. We'll attack. Unless they don't want me to attack, I'm gonna try to bolt my uh, Stormcast from Rage pre combat. Seems like a good play. Not really. It's probably not when you want to be trying to bolt or uh, kill a prowess creature. Attack for one. One plus 18. Play a Hollow Trout and tapped. Fast turn. Plays holdout settlement, huh? Sure, that's fine. Serum Brazilians would be a good draw here. My opponent's deck is interesting. I always liked the inspired mechanic, it just you gotta attack to really get it to go, and then you really can't do anything. Like if they have creatures, true planes. Uh, we'll play the planes, and we'll attack for one. We're just going to keep grinding our opponent out. I mean, if I don't have to move in on trying to kill them, there's no reason for me to do it. Still only representing 11 damage. Past turn, like if my opponent tapped out there, played like a collected company. They got like a dude, I'd probably move in, path the dude, and you play all my spells there. They did none of those things. I think they're looking for black mana. Drew a polluted delta. Well, they're getting mana screwed. We're getting mana flooded, so that's fair. I'm kind of going to move on on the bolt here. Move in on the bolt. Attack for one. Nope. Oh, no, 16. Fast turn. The reason I'm not just playing all these spells is because I really don't want to walk into something. Um, I'm pretty conservative with my aggro decks if I feel like I have... Um, if there's no reason for me to try to go for the win. I'm going to play some Kitchen Finks. Well, that's a pretty good card. Wish I had a Kitchen Finks. I'm going to gain three life. That's absurd! Absurd! That's fine. 19. Well, we'll crack the Pluto Delta. Grab the Steam Vents tapped. Spell. That's a, that's a dude. I like dudes. No homo. Okay, so now do we have game? Let me do some math. So this is two. This is 5, so that's 7. This is 4, that's 11. 15, 16, 17. We're 2 damage off. What? What? That seems absurd. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. No. I'll we'll just attack. Let's keep all the gas in the hand. Pass turn. What does my opponent have now that they have mana? Oh, this pumps their butt too? Neat. 
really would like to draw a spell. Serum Visions. It's Action Probe, even though it's not in the deck anymore, unfortunately. Opponent plays Micaeus for zero. What? That's that's fine. You can have a Micaeus on zero. Oh shit. Okay, Leyline. Don't you think you're fucking cool? Keeping his Micaeus alive. All right. All right. Good for you. Good for you. Oh, you got another another kitchen paintings? Bring it. Ghostly prison. That on the other hand isn't great for us. <laughs> yeah. So I think we're gonna start making moves. Uh, put us passing turn. So another muted joint growth does it, I think. Um, do I just want to fire off a bolt here? 15. 13. 9. 5. 3. Probably not. Swiss Interesting. Can't really attack with it. But it's interesting. Um, so let's just dome some dudes. Let's just dome them. Bring the owls. Uh, I don't have a red white land. No. Ah, ah. Ah. Right there's where I would want a Sacred Foundry. Um, mutagenic growth one. Make some moves. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Put them at eight. Uh, sure, why not? I'm tired of just dicking around with this guy. My dick in my hand, you know what I'm saying? Ah, 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 last turn. Please don't kill me. Mm, gain a life, that's unfortunate. Well, I know you guys are going to roast me in the comments. Uh, maybe I should have went in a couple turns earlier and, you know, just started dicking them. But unfortunately, that's not how it worked, is it? No, it is not. Put a counter on everything. No, no. Tap, tap it for mana. Sure. That's fine. Tap it for mana. Do what you think you need to do, big house. <sighs> should I have brought wear tears in? Maybe. What are you playing, big man? What are you playing? Another kitchen piece, I hope. Stony Brook Schoolmaster. Whenever it becomes tapped, you can create a 1 1 Merfolk Blue Wizard token. Sure. Yeah, that's fine. You keep gaining life. Do whatever you need to do. Jeez. Um, so. Still really just want to draw a Git Probe. Fortunately, that's not a card. That's not a thing I can draw, unfortunately. Sure, you get a wizard. That's fine. 
Do you? You're at 11. Skurs Dag High Priest. Why not? Just gain infinite life. You know? I'm going to go ahead and path that. Drew Goblin Guide. Still not a card I'm in particular need of. Well, I'm going to bolt the opponent. Now let's turn the guy sideways. The opponent down to five. I mean, we're getting there. We are getting there. So we need to draw Serum Visions still. That would, lightning Bolt would be good. I like Lightning Bolt. What is my opponent playing? I'm so confused. What do you got for Black Mana, Big Dog? What do you got? Okay, another Merfolk Wizard. That's fine. We can have another Merfolk. Okay. That's pretty good. Mm. It's going to start killing the dudes, huh? Start killing the dudes. Put some counter on it. Sure. Whatever. Do you, big man. Uh, do you, big man. Do you. Do you. What do you got? Really need to get to working on this paper. What do you got? He's got a pain seer. Or they got a pain seer, rather. Sure, probably just dead. I mean, yeah. I think we missed our window, guys. I don't think drawing a land does it. Um, uh huh. That's, uh, that's attack. Yeah, let's pay some mana. Let's pay some mana. Let's pay no mana. What? Take two full of six? Oh, yeah. Getting there. Getting there. What's in my crack it? Let's get this uh, mountain. Play a uh, switcher. And we'll play this uh, goblin guide. So apparently you can't win on a mold of five. I thought we had it. My opponent has gained virtually infinite life. Oh god, they seen the interaction. No! Not fair. Oh, and then you gotta go after the flying guys. That's also not fair. This gold token is ugly, by the way. I think they could have came up with something a lot better than this. Than shattered pieces of gold. What can we draw? Counters on everything. Sure. One, two, three, four. Turn all you dudes sideways. Two, four, seven, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I'm just going to scoop it up. I don't think we can actually win this game. Yeah, what were you gonna draw? Bolt, snag, maybe, probably not, but maybe. Well, what do we want? I want this Snapcaster back. I don't really want this Rest in Peace, I can tell you that. Um, maybe Wear Tears? Take out. Uh, goblin Guide? Two Goblin Guide? Or this random fifth fifth Snapcaster Mage that's in my deck, apparently. Because MTGO bugs.
I would like to play first. This is the best hand I've... Well, it's not really even that good of a hand, but I'll keep it. Opponent kept as well. Fortunately, we got to grab a steam vents with the polluted delta. Untapped cast serum visions. Look for a dude. Dude. Mantis Rider's a dude, but I don't have a third land. Bought them both. I don't really need three life. It turns out in the past turn. I mean, I think this game we're going to eat all their dudes and hope that's good enough. Hopefully we draw the dude in the meantime. That'd be good. Yeah, Copper Horn Scout? Sure, you can have that one. I don't mind that one. That's a dude. I like dudes. Play Swift Spear. Attack with Swift Spear. Takes it. Call it 19. I pass turn. Still wouldn't mind drawing a third land. Preferably a red source. Micaeus on one. That's fine. Opponent chose not to attack. Bold move. Bold move. We drew a third lightning bolt. Well, that's a thing. It's a thing that can happen. I'm going to go ahead and attack with a uh, Swiss Bear. See if my opponent blocks. You know, as long as my opponent doesn't have the ley line in this game, I think I'm okay. Attack for one. They chose not to attack and not block. That, uh, that doesn't make sense entirely to me. But we're going to go ahead and bolt them in the case. I think we're also going to move in on this mutagenic growth. Just because once they start to clutter up the board, I really can't do anything. Which was my... Oh, I didn't win last game. Last turn. But it's at 14 to our 15. We now have black mana. If we ever need it. I want to play a pain seer. It's fine. We can have a pain seer. Tax with copper horn scout. They learn the error of their ways. They proud of them. Really would like to find a uh, third land for this snapcast bridge. That would be good. And third land. Oh, God. Well, let's play the Goblin Guide. I mean, we're getting there. As much as getting there could mean. I mean, we're going to path their paints here. Gets forest. Reveal voice of resurgence. Okay. What is my opponent playing? It doesn't make sense. There's the ley line. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, there's a land. It's six. Uh, how about we bolt the Copper Horn Scout? And I have, what, six damage? Uh, five. So they're just dead next turn? Play Snapcaster Mage. Get back the Mutagenic Growth. 
mutagenic growth up the goblin guy just to spread the damage a little bit in case they have like a slaughter pact or anything like that. Go to combat. Attack for seven. Eldridge Evolution. Okay, so they're just playing a brew, I'm assuming. Well, I know they're playing a brew, but it's not just a bunch of random cards. Okay. Just curious why they're playing 60, 60, more than 60 cards, though. Interesting. So they could go Voice, Eldridge Evolution, Kitchen Finks, again, three life in total, four life in total. Go to seven. I still think they're dead if they could do that. All right, so I'll put them at four. And then I have three two power creatures at least. Hmm. There's the voice, I'm assuming. Sure. Gain a life. Go to four. Play your kitchen things. Or your Eldritch Evolution. Is it eight? No, it's three. Eldritch Evolution, away the voice. Get a token. Gain a life. Go to five. Gain two from voice. Go to seven. And then you're just still dead, though, if that's your plan. Is it? Is that what you're doing? You getting a kitchen fink? Sure, sure. Go to eight, really? Thought it was seven. No, it's seven. eight. One, two, seven. I'm bad at math. Oh boy, good card. That uh, that was the card we needed since my math was bad. Well, we're just gonna go ahead and turn everything sideways. Attack with some things and stuff. Reveal a King Makar. Sure. Blocks Monastery Swift Spear. Sure. Mm, Mutagenic Growth V. Goblin Guide. Make sure I'm roofing the right one. Both the opponent as well. Oh, that puts him at one. Damn it. Well, they go to four. And I have dudes and I have a handful of good cards. So, once again, this hand, this game's not looking so great for us once again. Um, Kitchen Pinks is a card. What you got? We got an opponent. You got your King Makar. Is that what you got? You got a Pain Seer. You probably a Pain Seer. Sure. What you got? Elder's Revolution. Chaos on two. Sure. It's another mutagenic growth. Um, well, let's see if we can get in with anything. Kill some things, maybe? I'm gonna trigger Bramble Snap. I have not seen that card in a very long time. Interesting. Sure. Really? Um, that's one, two, three. Put my opponent at two. That seems fine. Maybe draw the fourth lightning bolt that was at the bottom of my deck the last I knew. I don't know why they didn't just block with one of their other creatures. Like Kitchen Finks or something. So they have King Makar and Bramble Snap in their hand. 
Probably should play the King Makar. Sure. Go to three. Still looking to draw a Snapcaster or a Lightning Bolt here. Two, four, six. And hopefully not die. Wait, is my opponent going to attack with their paints here? Oh, my opponent has some balls. Or ovaries, depending on if you're male or female, if you're watching. Opponent's attack. We drew a polluted delta. Okay. Getting somewhere. Getting somewhere. I'm going to go past turn. I thought they had brambles. Oh, they do. It's in their hand. Okay. They have two, or three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten points of damage on the board. And a Bramble Snap. Not the Bramble Snap. The Bramble Snap. Not the Bramble Snap. Uh, yeah, this doesn't look great for us, guys. Points at five. Interesting. They turn everybody sideways? Just the King Makar. That's a bold move again. Probably not been walking. I have to draw the slip through space and it's not in the deck. That'd be good. Go to five. And we drew a mount. Well, guys, we got beat by Obzon Inspired. As always, guys, remember to smash that thumbs up button if you guys like my content. I get discouraged sometimes when I see some of my videos that don't have very many views. Um, if you guys want, you could share them with your friends. I would really appreciate that. Um, get my Just get my channel circulating. Um, small channels are really hard to get going on the, with the YouTube algorithm. Um, but remember to comment down below with any suggestions you have. Subscribe to the channels guys subscribe to the channel and I hope you guys have a good night. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye